Hello there, welcome to this video. I am Masma Masafa from Dynatube, and this is uh, Katia V5, which is the most interesting and uh, most easiest software for your engineering design. So, in this video, I am uh, showing you uh, how to simulate double acting dual cylinder. Uh, I have an example. Let me open the parts, but uh, to open this, let's go to mechanical design and assembly design. Assembly design. Here it is. Click and existing component with positioning. Let's take this three parts. Open. These are the three parts like this. Nice, we make it okay. Here it is. We are on uh, assembling workbench, but what we want to do is simulation. So let's go to digital mockup and DMU kinematics. Nice, this is DMU kinematics workbench. So uh, the splints may not be necessary for good looking it's better to hide the splints there may be another option but let me use this one so to assemble uh, sorry uh, for uh, simulation of the three parts we have to assemble less parts this is the external cylinder but uh, I didn't do this the inlet and outlets you can do for your case according to your design also for this for this one but it may not be necessary for uh, simulation so you can do the inlet and the outlet also the uh, steel hose you can do like that mm, it is very easy to do that so let's start uh, here there are different types of joints but uh, in our case uh, cylindrical joint is enough so let's click here and there is a dialog box here mechanism simply we can create a new mechanism by clicking uh, this uh, button when we click this the mechanism uh, name is coming and we can change the name or uh, we can uh, ignore like this here there are uh, current selections line 1 and line 2 and line 1 is this one and line 2 this we need angle and length driven check this two boxes and make it okay good and uh, let's do it again for the piston and line one the center of this line and line to this again let's check angle driven and length driven and make it okay good It's like this, as you can see here, there is a transparency, so it's better to, uh, it is very easy to understand. So, uh, it's uh, ready for simulation, but there is something uh, we missed. We have to fix one part which cannot be moved, so click on uh, fixed part for this mechanism, okay let's click the outer cylinder yeah this is good information the mechanism can be simulated now we can simulate it uh, to check click on simulation yeah this dialog box is uh, the command dialog box and th this is the simulation dialog box now there are four commands here but don't touch command 1 and command 3 because those are uh, degree commands we don't need 
degree movement here the piston or the cylinder cannot be moved like this but simply moving in and out so uh, only the linear motion is enough for uh, this case uh, on command 2 when we move this button to the right as you can see here the internal cylinder is moved out but it is not reached on the TDC, uh, TDC of the external cylinder so we have to add this value 100 we have to increase this uh, so to, to do this click on the three dot, uh, dots or on this button and you can uh, add this value the highest value for my case it is 400 yoni according to my uh, dimension and make it okay when we we move this to the right you can see here now it is okay it's overlapped but we have to make it 400 400 oh hmm. it's very yeah it's almost you can see here like this it may be 300 300 let me change it again 300 but the highest value no the the last value is changed okay the last value should be like this on the bdc of the external cylinder so it is let's make it zero the the, the last this one zero make it okay okay let's move to the right like this and uh, on command 4 we can move this but it should be moved out until this uh, uh, piston head is reached around here so let's increase this one mm, it is 780 let's start uh, let's check it 780 look mm, it is very high okay we have to decrease this value 76 zero okay let's check no don't touch the degree command so we have this should be zero zero enter good i need this one yeah like this it's uh okay i think we can check yeah it's almost it's right fine i think but uh, according to your design it will be fine so to simulate it click insert and uh, this loop mode should be back and forth like this there are three options here like this it is in the same direction this is only one step but this is the best uh, uh, change loop mode uh, for this case so uh, this should be very low to see the the speed of this parts now let's play this is play forward <laughs> okay it's like this let's increase its uh, speed you know there is something a uh, problem here mm, uh, that's timing only time parameter
You can say it's, uh, it's order. Yeah, yeah, from here or from here. Okay, guys. Uh, for your better uh, understanding, you have to say it. All the parts where their initial point and their final point. For this cylinder, the initial point should be above this yeah above this uh, line so maybe it is like this look yeah it should not be below this yeah it's like this and uh, its maximum is like this uh, for the command for the initial uh, point may be like this as the point where it is located now yeah but it is final location is 780 let's check yeah almost it's like this so if you check where the exact location of its PDC for this two parts and its TDC for this parts so it, it may not be difficult for uh, a simulation let's check insert step forward You can see it the timing by inserting here this one we did sequence you can see it the sequence but uh, you have to see what the procedure is from uh, Google by asking sequence mechanism by law it's very easy it seems like this for two days video nice there may be something a problem here but uh, you have to make it correct here uh, it may be sequence you can uh, do it by getting inside the edit sequence that's enough for today I am Asma Masafa please subscribe my channel for other important videos thank you very much bye bye